While you're probably aware that magicians don't actually have magic powers, you probably don't know how their greatest tricks are actually performed. Magicians are, of course, notoriously protective of their secrets, but they're only human after all. The following 10 tricks are now, with or without the magician's consent, public knowledge. Amazing! Number 10. Chris Angel Walks on Water Chris Angel's famous walk across a Las Vegas pool seemed to demonstrate that he was really up there with Jesus in terms of supernatural ability. While Chris Angel fans may not have been all that surprised, seeing as how they already knew he could levitate, others were blown away by the feat. Further baffling those who attempted to discover how he pulled off the stunt was the fact that in order to prove his magical prowess, Chris dropped one of his shoes straight down to the bottom of the pool. So how did he do it? Plexiglass Pillars Plexiglass has a refractive index very similar to that of water, making it virtually undetectable to the unaided human eye. It's so good that it's used to reinforce shark cages while still letting the people inside feel like maybe they could get eaten. Pillars, rather than a solid sheet, would also allow him to drop his shoe as proof. Number 9. Teller Gets Run Over Teller of the legendary magic duo Penn and Teller was once run over with a truck in front of a live audience so convincingly that it made Objective Productions' list of the top 50 magic tricks. And we know how they actually did it because Penn and Teller themselves revealed the secret. It was a real truck, real tires, real ground, and it really was Teller getting run over. The only thing that stopped him from getting crushed was counterweights on the side of the truck that the audience and cameras couldn't see. The weight shifted the whole balance of the truck, forcing the weight onto the far side so that the tires on Teller's side weren't exerting any force down onto the ground. Number 8. Blaine's Card Through the Window David Blaine originally rose to fame in the magic community with his simple yet impressive street magic. In his variation on the classic Is This Your Card trick, Blaine would throw the deck at a window. The person's card would stick to the glass. Even more magically, it would stick to the other side of the glass. A lot flashier than simply shuffling the deck in some weird way and handing your volunteer their card back, but not actually that much more difficult to pull off. Blaine would use a secret assistant on the other side of the glass who had an identical deck of cards. The surprise of the whole deck suddenly getting tossed would distract the audience while the assistant quickly slapped it onto the window. Number 7. Copperfield's Vanishing Statue of Liberty David Copperfield's disappearing Statue of Liberty is one of the more famous modern magic tricks. He fooled hundreds of live audience members and TV cameras apparently making New York's most famous landmark disappear off the map. And yet, the Statue of Liberty is, of course, still right there where it's always been. So how was it done? For such a seemingly large-scale trick, the answer is pretty simple. The Statue of Liberty was visible between two mock towers that had been set up on the stage and was otherwise alone in the night skyline. This meant that there were no other points of reference for the viewer besides the stage itself. So, in order to make it seem as though the statue had vanished, what Copperfield really did was move the stage. The stage itself moved so slowly that the audience couldn't notice it, and when the curtain was pulled up, the statue wasn't there because they just weren't facing it anymore. Number 6. Blaine's Needle Through the Arm A bit more shocking than Blaine's flashy card tricks is his Needle Through the Arm stunt wherein he or an assistant pushes a giant skewer all the way through his arm. When you watch videos of the trick, it really does not seem like much of a trick at all. It very convincingly looks like a man is simply pushing a needle through his arm. And that's because he is. Does this mean Blaine has real magic powers? Not quite. What Blaine has is a fistula, or an artificially made passage between a hollow or tubular organ and the body surface. Essentially, via either surgery or careful experimentation, Blaine created a hole or tunnel through his arm which has healed with scar tissue that he can now safely and routinely pass a needle through, to the amazement and disgust of his audience. What a guy. He basically stabbed himself so he could perform this one trick. Now that's some dedication. Number 5. Houdini Straight Jacket Escape Houdini, the most famous magician of all time, was best known for his daring straight jacket escapes. Interestingly enough, Houdini was also an outspoken critic of people who claimed to have genuine magical abilities, and hated it when people such as Sherlock Holmes creator Arthur Conan Doyle thought that he himself had genuine supernatural powers. So, in order to avoid this, Houdini himself would explain how his tricks worked. He revealed that his infamous straitjacket escapes were performed like this. By further persistent straining, you can eventually force the head under the arm, 
which results in bringing both of the encased arms in front of the body, and that once having freed your arms to such an extent as to get them in front of your body, you can now undo the buckles of the straps of the cuffs with your teeth. Number 4. Blaine's Street Levitation Another way that Blaine would shock passerby on the street was by performing the simple yet simultaneously baffling illusion of floating just a few inches off the ground. What makes the trick so intriguing is that since he could do it anywhere, it clearly wasn't a wire or glass or anything like that. Blaine uses a trick called Balducci Levitation, named after its creator, Ed Balducci. First, the magician stands a short distance away from the audience and positions himself so that they can only see the back of one foot. Then, you simply stand on the front part of the concealed foot, blocking the audience's line of sight with the other. So what the audience sees is one entire foot and the heel of another, which both seem to float unsupported off of the ground. In short, he's standing on tippy-toe. Number 3. Cobberfield's Death Saw If you aren't impressed by making the Statue of Liberty disappear, maybe you'd be more interested in Copperfield cutting himself in two with a giant buzzsaw. In this death-defying trick, Copperfield seems to split himself straight in half, only to have his assistant push the halves back together again and have one whole Copperfield stand up to take his applause. The trick is so famous that Copperfield has legally acquired the rights to perform the illusion. And while it seems insane, the trick is actually one of the oldest ones in the book. When Copperfield appears to be laying down flat on his stomach on the table to get sawed in half, what he's actually doing is folding his legs underneath his body. The legs that the audience sees aren't his legs, but the legs of an assistant whose upper body is hidden inside the table. The real key to the trick is that Copperfield and his assistant are in such perfect sync with one another that they really do appear to be one single body. Number 2. Harbin Zigzag Girl This similarly classic trick has the magician lead their poor assistant into a vertical box, and then slide two large blades into it, appearing to slice the girl into thirds. The middle segment of the recently dissected box is then pushed out, forming a zigzag shape, and surely separating what was left of that doomed assistant. And yet, when the box is opened, there she is, all in one piece. To begin with, she didn't get touched by the blades because the handles are always much wider than the actual metal, making them seem like they're broad enough to be cutting through the whole box, when of course they aren't. When the middle segment is pushed out, the assistant simply twists her body, forming an S. The trick is effective because while usually it's a magician who does all the work, here it's the assistant, something audiences aren't generally on the lookout for. Number 1. Penn and Teller's Bullet Catch Penn and Teller's unique version of this classic trick involves a lot of things that convince the audience that this is the real deal. To begin with, they are both firing at each other simultaneously. The bullets are signed by audience members, so as to seemingly remove accusations that the whole thing could just be a sleight of hand. They even set up a glass pane in between them to show that the shots really do get fired and aim at each other with laser sights. The key to the trick is that shots are in fact being fired, only they're wax bullets that Penn and Teller switch out for the real ones. Because the wax melts when the gun is fired, nobody actually gets hit. Squibs are used to put holes through the glass, and while the audience is distracted, Penn and Teller pop the custom manufactured signed bullets out of their shells and into their mouths. Which trick did you think was the greatest? Are there some feats of magic that leave you demanding an explanation? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and click that bell icon to be notified next time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.